Hi everyone. Hey, welcome to the Seed House. We had an earlier show where I, I did I showed Euphorbia Corallata and I showed you the process of seeding, the soil mix, the flats, how I filled the flats, uh, the seed in moist sand, and then I put them on the cart and brought them to the Seed House. Well, this is the Seed House about six weeks later. It, we have about 200 seed flats we've sown and we've did, done about 35 to 40 species of plants, solid perennials and natives. So I thought I'd explain the process. We do this under 30% shade cloth. The 30% shade cloth breaks up the raindrops, so it comes, it turns into a fine mist with a heavy rain. And also with 30% shade cloth, I can transition my transplants to full sun or into shade, much more than I can with 50% shade cloth. 50% shade cloth cuts the light too much, so I can't move plants into full sun that easily. So I've learned over the years to use 30% shade cloth. And then, if you look through, we've got di different stage of germination. I have, uh, this is Carex remota that's germinated very quickly. Uh, you, I'll tell you how I use that later, but it's a good plant to put from moist to dry areas along bed edges where you have uh, too much sprinkling going on on lawn areas. And then I have uh, Sinolensis. Uh, Sinolensis is a plant that not many people sell. I collect the seed and I have to moist cold treat that. Uh, we have uh, Gara longifolia. It's a beautiful biennial uh, or short-lived uh, native Gora. We have Carex blanda, Ansonias, Richness calcedonica, Rosia. There's some of the Euphorbias coming up that we, sh we did the day you were here. And then all of this is Sporobolus heterolepis. We use a lot of Sporobolus as filler grasses. And, it, and we come down to uh, some of the sedges, Carex gracilima, uh, Carex muhlenbergia, Carex swanii, and mimulus ringens. I use that in a lot of the uh, rain gardens or low areas and moist plantings. Uh, Galenia trifoliata, uh, Veronicastrum virginicum. Here's Silene regia. Silene regia is a beautiful red. It can be a persistent plant in the garden and sometimes it can disappear after the second year. So it all depends on, on, on drainage right, through the winter. But we grow a lot of Silene regia. One lot, I, for me a lot is 50. I'm not, I'm not that big a plant. Okay, Campania glomerata alba, uh, Goniolium, sea spray, it's a, a lavender. It's a beautiful lavender with early flowers. And then our, uh, we, Lithrum elatum. We use a lot of the native Lithrum. It's a good plant from transitions to moist to slightly average soil. And then we end up in this case with Agastachia albiflora. It's a white, a white Agastachia with nice white flowers. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of the seed hut. Remember the 30% shade cloth. And as the seeds mature, we'll go through the transplanting process and show you how we transplant into small pots and move them to sun or shade based on their final destination. And then we move those into gallons or quarts. Or we do a lot of projects now using two and a half inch containers and make it economical for the client. And we can do a, a larger project that way. And the other part I have to share with you, it's like too much fun. This is the most fun I have is, is germy and sowing seeds of all this diversity. So if you have questions, just email and, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.